For this week's Just One Quilt Story, I'm with my friend, textile artist Gillian Travis, and we're looking at quilts on walls as opposed to on beds. And with over 500 quilts and travels around the world, Gillian's got a lot of knowledge and stories to share. I'm just um, a creative person. I can't stop designing. I could design quilts every every few minutes there'd be another one and so when I'm teaching sometimes I'll say well why don't you do this and half an hour later they'll ask me again and I'll give another idea so I've got so many ideas not enough time to make all the quilts that I want to make the idea of making spending 10 years making one quilt that's all hand stitched is just not for me um, this is one of my favourite quilts. It's it's quite old now. In fact, I was looking at it the other day and thinking, how many years ago was it that I did that? And it actually says 2011 on it. So that's quite old now, but it is really important um, because it, it was the start of um, my whole Indian series and about going to India for the, f for the second time. Um, and then I've been there lots of times since and going again and I've just been back so it just seemed like the right one to talk about. My quilts are definitely to hang on a wall. They're basically that yes it's a quilt but it's um, a picture to hang on the wall so it, it's a picture made in fabric and stitch really um, but they won't see any beds although occasionally I do make the odd bed quilt. This quilt started when I was in a small town and I followed these three lovely ladies down the street click 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 as they went along and just came back with 20 or so photographs of them um, and then just turned it into a quilt cool, like this. There's a bit of stenciling on here, there's a bit of block printing, machine stitching, painting, little bits of newspaper, you know that's, um, this is all saris. I don't finish the ends of my quilts like I should. Um, the backs are really scruffy but, but you work through it yeah but that's not what it's about for me it's about the design it's about the color it's about the images it's about the memories all those sorts of things yeah but nowadays with technology with ipads um it's so easy to take a photograph turn it into an uh, put it into an app and then out comes a black and white line drawing which you can then trace and then turn into a quilt so easily just the occasional things that people don't always see. I've taught all over the world from oh, Canada, South Africa, Australia, France, Germany, America, um, all lots and lots of countries in Europe, um, but I haven't taught in New Zealand, so I'd like to go there. I think that's, you, you've seen so many quilters who stroke the fabric. People who just like the threads, who like the colour combinations of putting the threads together. And that, you know, we all love to do. Well, all quilters love to do that. But you're quite brave, aren't you? Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I suppose that's true. Taking the unusual sometimes, that making it into a quilt. Um, even some of those recent ones I've just done on the doors, they're just a whole... I took a load of photos on crumbling old doors and who would have thought that they would turn into so many little quilts why why do you quilt i don't know i can't stop myself <laughs> i don't know i i do like to share them and so there a lot of them are teaching samples i like i always like the quilt that i've just finished the best and then i just put it in a box show it to a few people and then it make another one Surely other people think are the same. 